we're doing question three of the um, worksheet I gave you out on Friday. Uh, we're talking about two ships going aground and they're damaged by a typhoon in the near harbour. Repair jobs can only be done in a floating position. The smaller ship can be very floated, floated at three metres, so I've written that over here, three metres, and the big ship can be floated at um, 4.5. I've written down two equations. I don't think that really makes sense. Okay, but we actually could end up with two equations, but we'll get rid of that, so it's definitely not two equations. We have two ships. Okay, um, assuming that the two ship, oh sorry, given that the low tide is 11 p.m., okay, we're talking about the height of the water. The tide is low at 11 p.m. and it cycles um, and it repeats once every 12 hours. That means the period is 12. You're told that the maximum height of the water is 6 metres, so we've got max of 6. Minimum height is 0.5, so we've got a minimum of 0.5. You need to graph the tide. This means that Y is going to be the height of the water in metres. So I've done a graph like this, put 6 at the top, 0.5 in the middle, and then I've worked out D, which is 3.25, and the amplitude, that's a horrible looking A, um, where, and I decided to do 6 minus 3.25, and it came to 2, 6 minus 3.25, which came to 2.75. The question is, is what are you going to use for X? Okay, because it's not actually really clear at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and make X, this one here, which is going to be 0, because it'd be nice to do it if you made it 12 hours out here. Okay, because we know the period's 12, so it'd be handy to have it at 12 there. And we know that it starts at the bottom, which is going to be equivalent to 11 p.m. And we're going to go back down to the low tide, and that would be 12 hours later, and 12 hours later would be 11 a.m. the next day. Okay, so we know it's low, and halfway it will be at the top. I'm doing a five-point um, thing to draw my graph. So it's five points, one, two, three, four, five. And remember, we need nice round curves. All right, that's how to draw your graph. Okay, so X we need to define really clearly, and that is the time from 11 p.m., which happens to be the low tide. So we're redefining X, and to make it easier for us, so we get 0 to 12, and it's the time in hours from 11 p.m. at night, which will be the low tide point. Okay, we'll get to the next part later.